Welcome back everybody, um, good to see you again. I've got to show you this, so uh, let's roll the titles and I'll see you on the other side. <laughs> my power drawbar, my cheap as chips power drawbar, um, I think all told it's going to be about 140 odd dollars worth. That's cheap isn't it? Anyway, um, let me show you. At the, at the moment it's all hooked up to a, uh, to a power supply with fly leads, I'll show you that in a sec, but uh, um, and, the, and the actual main cylinder's got to go behind the mill. Uh, I've got a little bit more work to do, but uh, just watch this. Let me just run that spindle. Uh, da, da, da. Right, there we go, that proves the spindle works, so if I just stop that, there we go, stop that, I'll uh, change the connections on my power supply. Listen to that. That's as noisy as it gets. How cool is that? How cool is that? So uh, the, the spindle is locked solid at this point. Just a bit of friction. Uh, so if I put that tool hold it back in, reverse it, get ready to uh, start the spindle again. There you go. How cool is that? It's not quick, I'll admit that. Right, is it quick? No. Is it cool? Hell yeah. Is it cheap? Certainly is. That has got to be the cheapest way to put a power draw bar on a little hobby mill. It's, uh, it's, uh, why wouldn't you? Just why wouldn't you? And uh, having one of these means that you can then, should you decide, decide to, put yourself an also tool changer on. And that's the, uh, really, I think, the holy grail of these small machines, to be able to just um, set it up press a button and off you go, put the kettle on while it makes something for you. That's got to be the way to go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a very short video, apologise for that. I've been absolutely flat out this week. Uh, there is a build video for this coming up, um, so bear with me. I've got most of the footage. I haven't quite finished yet. I've got to add a, uh, I'm going to put it on a foot switch, the idea being that you have one tool in your hand to go in and one empty hand to take that tool out. So take one out, shove one in, take your foot off the, um, off the foot switch and it will load it back in again. So uh, I've got the bits for that, I just haven't managed to have time to get out of here. Bear with me, there's a build video coming up for this, so uh, if you want to do one, watch the video. Take care, see you next time.